What's up guys, it's iPod Touch Helping. And if you guys have been around this channel for a while, this will be a little bit nostalgic for you guys because I haven't made a video in years, really. Um, as obviously the jailbreak in on the iPhone scene has died and been dead for quite a while. But something has really been exciting me a lot and I'm gonna be making a lot of content on this stuff. And it's basically these handheld consoles that you, know, you can uh, install ROMs on and you can also kind of modify these things and hack them. And I'm going to be just doing tutorials and teaching people how to do that and kind of follow the journey that I'm on. So I got this the other day. It's the Logitech Cloud G. Now, a lot of people say this is overpriced. And when you look at the specs and all that, I would definitely agree with that. But um, I got this for a deal, a really good deal. I got it for 300 Canadian. Um, when it retails for 400 plus tax, you know, you get it for about 450. So I got it for 300 flat. So I had savings of about $150. And um, I also bought the Steam Deck, which comes in about a week. And I'm fucking stoked for that. But this is the um, unboxing video here. And then once I play around with this for about a week or so, maybe longer, I will do a review on this. And the same with the Steam Deck. Um, I'm still working on my new name for this channel. I know it was iPod Touch Helping before, but now I'm thinking maybe Mr. Whip, the tech helper, or something along those lines. I'm still figuring out. Um, but yeah, let's get right on into it. Let's open this up. So it says, keep playing right here. And it looks like there's just little, they're just little cardboard inserts. And then we have the actual device itself right here. And wow, um, just on first feeling, in my hand feels really good uh this analog stick feels a little bit close but you know i guess like too far down low for me but i'm gonna have to experiment with this for a while and see what it's all about um but yeah here's the device itself relatively um kind of big it's actually kind of big i think the screen is like seven inches or so i forget the exact number but i'm just gonna put this to the side for a second and let's see what else we have in the box and I'm gonna just toss the box up here. All right, so here we go. Looks like we have probably the chargers and all that shit, nothing too crazy. And that's how you don't unbox things right there. So I'm kind of a numbskull, so you know, you know, you know, you know. Anyways, let's see here, what do we got? We got the charger, USB-C, cool. Pretty much everybody's going to the USB-C now. And is there something else in here? There must be, it feels heavy. So, oh man, am I silly or am I dumb or am I dumb? Yeah. All right, here we go. Got the charger. This is really exciting. I know, bear with me, bear with me. Um, there we go. So we got the charger. That's really fun and exciting and a little bit of paper. Cool. Um, let's talk about this now. Let's boot this up. All right, so let's turn this on. I'm gonna hold the power button. There we go. And this is powered by Android. So at first glimpse with the screen, um, looks pretty crisp. Looks pretty damn crisp. I do, I do like it. Um, I forget uh, the specs on it. I'm gonna get into that with when I do the review, though for sure. Um, but yeah, overall feels really good. Um, I do not speak Spanish. I'm English. Uh, I'm Canadian, but the United States will work. Um, the sounds, you guys can hear it. Sounds all right. Um, region, let's change that. Oh, shit. It's a touch screen too, so I guess I'll just click Canada, go next. Um, Wi-Fi, I will set this up. There we go. So I'm connected to the internet now, and um, this might take a few minutes, so I'll pop it back on once it's done. Now it's the Google screen. I'll quickly sign in. Oh, so I've signed in and now it's uh, taking me to this new screen, getting account info. Nothing too crazy to see here. Um, use basic device backup. Yeah, I'll just use the basic. Use location. Don't really need it to use location. Send usage and diagnostic data. Don't need to do that. Install updates and apps. I guess it's going to fucking do that anyways. Um, I have read it and I have read it. Um, Tenant Games. Um, oh, I saw this before. Tencent, sorry, not Tenant. Um, I've agreed. In the middle. I hate that they force you to agree to this stuff, but you know, it is what it is. For security, set a pin. Um, 
you know, just because I'm very original. Um, that's my pin, unfortunately. There we go. Signing in, signing in, signing in, signing in. Access your assistant. Are you talking about? I agree. Come on, man. I just want to get into this device. Teach your assistant to recognize your voice. Oh, man, you guys don't want to sit through that. So I'm going to just pause it now and I'll come back when the boring stuff's done. So now this is the screen here. It says uh, tablet mode or handheld mode. I prefer the look of uh, handheld mode. Kind of reminds me of like a gaming console uh, more. As you can tell here, it says gamers go here. So let's do that. Um, boom. Welcome. Uh, play your favorite PC slash console games in the palm of your hand. So this device here is designed basically to be a cloud gaming. Oh, and it's funny how it's taken the words out of my, my mouth. Designed for cloud gaming. So it's not really the best at, you know, emulation when you compare it to the Steam Deck and uh, that. But it is pretty damn good. Um, the AYN Odin is also a little bit better. And it's also like 25% cheaper or so, something like that. Um, so if you're going to get one of these devices and you're really trying to do emulation and play like old PS1 games or PS2 games, GameCube, this thing will not run all the GameCube and PS2 games. Um, but, you know, the Steam Deck will run a lot more of them. And so will the AYN Odin from the research that I've done. So simple keys, simple control. All right. Cool, man. I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's move on. Want to learn more about the G button? I guess I have to. There we go. So we're finally in here. Um, this is going to definitely get some get, take some getting used to. Um, it seems a little bit glitchy, but I must be, you know, pointing down a little bit. Um, and I always forget it is a touchscreen. But anyways, I'm going to go to the D-pad for this just because I'm being a dink. And these are the apps that it comes installed with. Overall, um, I'm pretty impressed with this little device. Um, I think if you can get this for, you know, $300 Canadian or which is like $220 American roughly, I'd imagine. Something like that, $225. Um, then get it. But at the normal retail price, it is a little bit expensive just because when you do compare it to the other um, handheld devices that you can get in the market, there are simply just better ones um, for the money that you're putting in. I'm a little bit rusty with these video guys, but I am excited um, to go on this new jersey journey again and get into these videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials on, you know, how to install games on these different devices. And I'm going to be doing comparisons, reviews, all that stuff like I used to do with the iPhone jailbreak videos. And I haven't been this excited about tech in a long time. So I'm pretty stoked about this. And I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible. Still working on my name, like I said. But I appreciate you guys for at least checking this out. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go play around with this and have some fun. And hopefully install some games on this tonight. So hope you guys have a good one. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.